At age 15, Faisal left Ghana for Nigeria to learn fashion design. He had perfect vision at that time. His hope of making it big in the fashion industry came crashing after he began to experience eye pain continuously. In 2002, that's the time I realized that I start feeling pain in my eye. So I take it to hospital in Nigeria, but they don't have the machine that they can use to realize the disease. So they said that they didn't see anything. I wouldn't know that the problem too is glaucoma. I became low vision over there. So I came back to Ghana. I traveled to Agogo Presbyterian Hospital. They said that they will do the eye surgery because the problem is getting so far. So they did the surgery for me and two o. 204. So I use my eyes to continue doing my work as a designer. So in 2007, 2008, the problem come back again. It comes seriously. So 2010, I become totally blind. The thought of committing suicide lingered in his mind, but a motivational message from a visually impaired lecturer would later have Faisal reconsider his thoughts. I had a teacher, a blind teacher on the radio station said that he became blind when he is in class five, but he managed to go to school and today he's a teacher in Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. So in 2014, I, to, I went to a Kropon school for the blind. So at there, their life started again. I went there and learned how to move. I learned how to do mobility, orientation of mobility. I learned how to walk myself, do everything myself. He found a new love in making soap as a hobby and income generation source. Without the assistance of anyone, the 37-year-old is able to make different types of soap and washing powder at his residence in Ofensu Amwe Zongo. I go by Faisal Abubakar, the cosmetology specialist. I am a visually impaired. If I complete doing my soap, some people come and take it and go and sell it for me. If I look at the type of soap I'm doing it here, I need cutting board or the soap machine. So when I finish mixing the soap, I will pour it inside my mold. After the mold, I will take it to the cutting board for it to cut it into pieces for me. I have the wood board, but because of I cannot see, when I'm pushing it to cut it, then it, will, it, it take balance. Mm. So if I have the machine, when I just switch it on, the machine will cut it for me. His determination is to serve as encouragement for persons living with any form of disability.